So, depending on where you know me exactly, you might not be fully aware of what I um, have done before. Depending on when you met me or when you found the channel, you might know me as the guy who was number one at the Smash uh, NYC launch, which is true. Um, but if you're even older than that, by like a few months maybe, um, you would also know that I leaked a good amount of stuff from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I wanted to talk about not l leaking something. This is not a video where I'm going to be leaking another thing. But what this video will be is how the Smash community treats leakers. And how that whole thing affects, you know, the Smash community and leakers as a whole. And this is video is more for people who enjoy leaks. I understand there are people who don't like leaks. And if you're one of those people, then uh, the video doesn't really apply to you as much. But, um, you know, cool. Uh, all power to you, you know. But uh, I did want to kind of talk about my experience as a Smash leaker. Now, so, you know, let's kind of get into that, right? Um, the, here's the first things first. Um, in case you don't know what exactly I did leak. In case you're kind of newer to the channel, which chances are you are. Uh, I basically said that Piranha Plant was uh, gonna be in the game before the official reveal of Piranha Plant. I've never heard any other leaker say this, so if this is true, this is the first place you're hearing it from. Okay, unless there's something I don't know about, unless there's something I just never uh, realized, or maybe there's a text leak that said it somewhere and I just never saw it, or whatever the case may be. But according to them, the character reveal is not going to be PD Piranha, but just a regular ass Piranha Plant. Uh, essentially, Source 2 is saying it's just a Piranha Plant, and that uh, he fights in a pot, walks around on leaves, and kind of just like spits fire, spike balls, and poison. I specified that uh, he was gonna have poison attacks, he was gonna have the spike ball thing. Basically, you know. I talked about it before it would happen. Um, I gave the, the specific timing of when Isabel would come out. As of now, I can't really prove that this information is real. But I can in the future. That would require you to come back to this video though later down the road. I can't say where or how exactly, but the very next character being revealed for the game will be Isabel from Animal Crossing. <laughs> I said something like, at the time of me making that video, uh, that she would be the next character getting revealed, which ended up being the case. And um, I also said Marks would be a boss. I think, it, I could be wrong, I'll, I'll probably edit it in somewhere, but uh, I did say Marks would be a boss all the way back in like August or something like that. Like I said, if it wasn't August, I would just edit it in the correct uh, month or so that I said that. There is as well as bosses. From what I've been told, these bosses are Rathalos, which we've seen, Dracula, and Marx from Kirby. But that was way back, like, you know, before the game released, right? Uh, I have a source. Um, I actually have two sources. Um, I don't want to go into detail about who they are, uh, how I know them, that kind of thing, because, you know, privacy and all that, and because for obvious reasons, right? Um, but apparently, <laughs> those reasons are not as obvious as I once thought they were, so I am gonna kinda like go into that too, but there's this weird way Smash fans, or maybe not even the Smash fans, but just people, uh, how they treat leakers, right? So, like I said, if you're someone who doesn't like leaks, uh, then it makes sense why you wouldn't like leakers, because leakers can, in your personal opinion, in a game uh, but you know there's some people who don't feel that way or whatever right so I as someone who has leaked Super Smash Brothers info in the past uh, how does how did how was I treated essentially right well not the best <laughs> honestly um, I'm not saying I was harassed or anything like that nothing to that crazy extent but if you are someone who likes leaks then you guys need to very much change how you treat leakers, right? See, the problem with how the Smash community uh, treats leakers, and the only reason why I'm saying the Smash community specifically is because 
Uh, that's the, the you know the fan base I was a part of when I was doing all that. Uh, is be is that you guys are way too volatile. You guys are way too hostile when finding out something has been wrong or fake. Now keep in mind, ever since I met my sources, uh, my information has been basically I want to say 98.98% uh, excuse me uh, accurate. The only time there was ever something that was kind of wrong but not really was that. Uh, we, I, I mentioned like there will be a specific date for one of the past Nintendo Directs and that was just like one day off but it was still basically the same week and everything else has been accurate right everything else that happened that my sources have said have happened so when I first started off since I wasn't exactly you know Vergaben or someone like of well-known renown of leaking anything uh, you will notice that there's a very clear divide in my comments section there will be uh, one half that is just like, oh, you're fake, oh, you're piggybacking off of Verg, or blah, 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 blah. And then the other half, after the announcement of what I said would happen, is just a bunch of people saying like, holy shit, how did you know? So, I'm not saying you need to trust all leakers, because very clearly there is a colossal fuckton of people who fake shit for attention, right? And I understand that. Hell, when the ESRB leak happened for Smash 4 way back in the day, I used to think it was fake, despite the fact that it ended up being real, right? So, am I saying to trust all leakers? Hell, don't do that. Always remain skeptical. But what I'm saying is that maybe you shouldn't kind of just uh, attack, harass, or annoy the shit out of any leakers who do get something wrong. Because... Technically speaking, every leaker that you know, if you want to be technical, has gotten at least one thing wrong. That includes Verg, right? So, because, let's, let's be fair, like, at one point, Verg said that there would be a Square Enix character in the base game, while I was saying that, um, instead of a Square Enix character, it would be Piranha Plant. Um, so, it, it kind of does, you know, it doesn't make sense to do that, because what happens is that once you make it very clear that the fan base is determined to kind of just you know outcast any leaker who gets anything wrong then the likelihood of you getting a leaker is significantly lower because a lot of people don't want to deal with that right for instance when i first went with my source and i got the info i got um i spent a good month uh kind of just questioning whether or not it was worth going through that hassle because I, and I can't remember the top uh, off the top of my head who these people were specifically, but there were leakers on Twitter who would say things, and like they were blatantly wrong, and I knew this from the get go. But um, because of them being fake or just getting it wrong or whatever the case may be, uh, they deleted the whole Twitter account. <laughs> they like completely deleted it, and they just ran off, and they just like they didn't come back uh, maybe they did in some fashion I don't know because I don't really keep up with other leakers I just kind of I hear things I say things and I leave like I don't really like to stick around for too much looking into it kind of thing but you know basically what I'm saying is that it's okay to be skeptical it is also okay to uh, to kind of be, be disappointed when someone uh, fakes something but let's try to minimize how mad we get <laughs> Uh, when something ends up being fake because when a real leaker comes along it's very hard for them to prove that they're legit very difficult when Vergaben first started doing his thing no one believed him no one believed me either but we were both actually leaking things you understand so I don't know what Virg I don't know who Vergaben is because I also wanted to make that clear in the past, people have said, kind of misquoted me or something, saying that my source was Vergaben. No, that's not the case. I, I've never met Vergaben. I've shared no messages with Vergaben. I've never talked to Vergaben. I don't know who this, who he is or anything like that. I, I have no affiliations with him, with him whatsoever, and I'm sure he'll tell you the same thing if you ask. But, uh, I do think Vergaben is legit, right? Um... And whatever he's saying now, I haven't caught up with leaks at all. Um, probably accurate, right? Uh, but like I said, any leak can get anything wrong. And in my experience, the second 
I said something that seemed just impossible to the average Smash fan was met with so much like negativity and just like why are you dumb enough to believe this <laughs> and like you know that kind of thing and it's kind of like it makes you more nervous about coming out with the next bit of info because you don't want people to come and attack you uh, if you happen to get it wrong right not saying every leaker will see it that way that's why we still have them but if you want to be more open to receiving more genuine leaks then at the same time you also need to be more understanding when a leaker gets something wrong like i said if the person is obviously fake then yeah you don't have to believe them at all don't harass them but you don't have to believe them at all just like move on with your day ignore them and just go on, right but if they end up showing proof that they're real like Ver vergman having everything right uh myself having the timing of like all these different things being correct and like probably other leakers that I'm just unaware of. Um, maybe don't harass them if they get something slightly wrong. <laughs> it's, we're all human, right? We are all human. So everyone's gonna get something wrong eventually. Hell, the, the sources that are telling me and Berg anything can be wrong, right? And like, people who report on leaks like uh, Papa Genos and like, um, he's the first one that comes to mind, so uh, <laughs> I can't remember everyone else, but you know, people who report on these things, they can be wrong too. We're all talking about things that are subject to change. We're all talking about things in the background. So, uh, you know, that's basically it. And I will say, like, me leaking stuff has been very stressful in the past because of that fear of, like, just having this whole fan base shit on me. I've seen my stuff show up on, like, 4chan and Reddit and, like, I've heard of my stuff being on like what I'm not I forgot what it's called, but that thing that Push Dustin's part of. I'm sure you know who Push Dustin is. If you don't, um, Twitter, Google, that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, I believe that you would like look at dissect rumors and leaks and that kind of thing and just kind of like determine if it's real or not. And I've seen my stuff talked about on like his Discord server and stuff like that. And I'm very well aware of all that. Um, but the point is, is that just maybe don't treat all leakers as like. Like don't don't count don't outcast them basically is what I'm trying to say when they get something wrong, especially if they have a, a series of things that are correct. If you want to be technical, Ferg has been wrong too, but and I have been wrong too. But mm, I don't think we've been wrong to the extent that would be good to like just kinda of like outright just say like, oh he's fake, that's it, it's over. Just probably calm down a little bit, relax, and just like, you know, take things slowly that's all there's a reason why some leakers don't really like to uh, continue doing it after a while I, I believe there are certain people uh, who used to leak things and they just don't anymore because the the, 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 the response to it if it ends up being slightly off it's always so blown out of proportion that they just don't feel like it's worth the stress that's kind of it my experience as a smash leaker has been Mostly okay, but when it gets like slightly off, it's bad. <laughs> like people get really hostile for no reason and whatnot. I've even had people who, uh, and I'm not naming any specific people by any means. I'm not like talking about that. Personal friends don't really count in this specific um, instance, but uh, I've had people who uh, will hit me up and DM me with the sole purpose of trying to get more information out of me. Uh, now, if you're someone who wants to ask, like, a genuine question, I don't mind that. My DMs are open, so, like, that kind of thing, I don't really mind too much. Uh, what I do mind is when you talk to me as a friend and try to go, like, Hey, buddy, buddy! How's that Smash info? Like, don't do that. Just be honest with me. Like, you want to know about Smash stuff? Like, you can ask me questions. Chances are, um, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I haven't said it in a video, chances are I'm not going to tell you in a DM. <laughs> that's, that's just a fact. Now, if you want more detailed information of what I meant, like kind of like, um, I guess, clarification for anything I've said in the past, then yeah, that that's more for what the DMs are for if you're trying to like talk to me about stuff. So like, you know, my Twitter is open. If you don't follow me, follow me on Twitter uh, at Shifty is me. Um, that's where I talk about whatever the hell I want. <laughs> um, and does this mean I'm going to stop doing leak videos? Um, not really. Uh, I'm not like 
totally stressed to a point where like I think it's not worth it anymore like I'll definitely continue if I hear things but truth be told I haven't heard things in a while my sources have been pretty quiet um and well quiet to an extent because I have heard things but I'm the kind of person who likes to keep my cards close to my chest so it's kind of like I'm hearing things but I also don't like to say things so early to the point that uh I can't determine whether or not it's actually true and considering how the Smash fanbase can get when it comes to leaks that are slightly off, I think I'll prefer keeping them close to my chest for now until I know they're true. Because if I end up talking about it now and it's slightly off, you guys, well not maybe you watching, but you know, some of the people in the community are gonna have a field day with that and I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I guess like the moral of the whole video is that um, just be a little more patient with leakers. It's possible for someone down the pipeline who got the info to you um, can be slightly off. Not, a, not every source is 100% accurate. And I also do want to point out something particular that I've seen that makes no sense at all, but apparently it needs to be said. If you're somebody who unironically thinks it's stupid for leakers to not name their source, I have, inf I have like news for you. You're dumb. <laughs> because, think about it. I saw one guy who was like, oh, um, people who don't name the source is because they obviously don't have one. Dude, okay. Think about it in the, <laughs> it's so dumb. Think about it in like, um, the, the context of the leaker. If they name the source, the source gets in trouble, right? And if they don't name the source, then apparently you have no real info. So it's a lose-lose situation regardless. And one of them is a lot bigger than the other one. So it's like, we'd rather keep it anonymous. And I even saw some other person on Twitter say something like, Oh, what is the point of keeping a secret? You already broke NDA. Like, yeah. That's why they're anonymous. <laughs> That's like saying like, Oh, ah, someone murdered this guy. You already committed the murder. You might as well just tell yourself it. Like, it's not about committing the act that made them not want to put the the name out there is not getting caught <laughs> like that's kind of like the whole thing but whatever you know uh sources do what they want to do they want it to be done in a certain way and who am i to disagree but um that's just a really dumb and ignorant argument that makes no sense so just wanted to put that up there but point is is that that's kind of just how things are, but and my experience as a leaker has been basically um, slightly stressful, but not to the extent that I've seen other people get to. Um, I guess it's because there's more success in what I've been saying than like other leakers, so maybe that's why I haven't experienced that stress as much. But yeah, that's kind of it. So um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, just let me know how you guys feel about the whole thing, because. Um, in your perspective, it must be kind of just out of the blue or random even. So, who knows? You know, let me know in the comments, because I obviously don't know. And follow me on Twitter. Like I said, I, uh, Shifty is me. And, yeah, that's kind of it. Like the video if you liked it, disliked it if you disliked it. And, yeah, that's all it is. See ya.